my name is Zhe Qinzhang. I come from uh, TU Braunschweig in Faculty of Electrical Information Technology Physics. And I'm very glad to be here to give you the comprehensive review of AI-based dance generation application and their developmental uh, prospects in visual reality. So I'm going to uh, separate this into four portions. Um, for you to have a better understanding of this topic. But first, what can AI help? How can AI help us? Um, in modern society, artificial intelligence is transforming the way we handle tasks and solve problems. A fundamental role of AI is to alleviate the burden of everyday work, especially in performing labors and Repetitive tasks, for example, many industries are utilizing AI to automate simple data entry, uh, simple, simple data entry jobs, allowing employees to focus their attention on tasks that require more creativity and strategy. Additionally, while helping to reduce the intensity of human labor, AI also ex expands our capability to solve complex problems. Through machine learning and deep learning, AI can analyze a vast amount of data, identify patterns, and provide solutions that are difficult to achieve through human uh, intuition and experience. Therefore, the significance of AI lies not only in its role as a tool to simplify and automate tasks for humans, but also in how it enables us to transcend traditional limitations and unleash potentials for innovation and creativity. So what about in the arts field? Like there are currently a lot of applications in the realm of art, particularly in music and painting. There are many noteworthy advancements concerning the application of AI. First in music, Magenta Studio serves as a is as an excellent example of AI's application in music composition. Um, it is capable not only of generating musical notes, but also it can splicing and editing music, greatly expanding the possibilities for musical creation. Magenta ut utilizes machine learning technologies to analyze a vast amount of music data learn about music structure, style, and rhythm, and then generate new musical pieces. And in painting, as AI's applications are equally compelling. For example, Canvas app allows users to uh, create lifelike images from simple strokes, transforming users' sketches into beautiful landscape paintings. Additionally, Vombo Dream is another example of an AI platform that generates uh, paintings based on users' prompts and it supporting various artistic styles. So a common feature with these tools is that artistic can devote more energy to creativity and artistic expressions rather than just time consuming, cumbersome technical operations. So what about, what about the potentials in choreography for AI? Um, for a technology perspective, choreography involves complexities of space and time that cle clearly surpass those found in music and painting. Um, this complexity arises because dance is not just the artistic expression along the timeline, but also includes dynamic three-dimension spatial movements. So developing AI software capable of automating choreography certainly presents numerous challenges. So how people unlocking the potential in AI dance generation? First, motion capture. The research into motion recognition began with the early studies of biological motion visual per uh, perception. Psychologists, for example, Edgar Rubin discovered how people um, perceive shapes and patterns visually 
and introducing famous Rubin vase illusion. This illusion is not only a classic example in visual arts, but also lay the groundwork for subsequent motion recognition technology. Further, Johansson developed a method by marking bright spots on major joints of moving bodies to study motion patterns. This method allowed us, uh, allows us to um, perceive human movements such as walking, um, running and dancing intensely with only minimal visual elements. And for today, for this century, motion recognition technology continues to evolve. And one of the primary challenges we face is the limited availability of training data. And Oliver and many other scientists are continuously developing flexible uh, prior models by introducing and evaluating two state-based learning architectures like HMM, hidden Markov models, and CHMM, coupled hidden Markov models. These efforts are aimed at optimizing motion capture efficiency, improving data um, processing accuracy, and enhancing predictive capabilities. capabilities. So the idea we want to generate a dance, we compared to a we compare it to text inputs. The audio driven approach is more effective for sure due to the high coloration between music feature and dance movement. And this can also provide a richer model base for training. So currently we have um, some mainstream models such as GrooveNet or uh, AI Choreographer and also AI ST++. Um, primarily measure music, compare and capture the inherent de dependencies within dance sequence. And to handle the diversity of music styles, researchers have developed data-driven learning strategies based on dynamic graphs. And by training uh, music styles embedding models, they flexibly adjust the speed of select dance movements, segments to uh, adapt changes in music style. So, as we can imagine, the multi-model multi -model approach is more suitable for a driven dance generation and even emotion analysis. The generalization ability of dance training models remains a significant challenge because dance itself is a multi-faceted arts form that integrates music movements, lightings, and even emotion expressions, all these environments. So in such complex artistic expressions, elements like sound and visions are closely interconnected, with emotion being mm, comparatively more abstract. Scientists have proposed various methods to analyze the express expressiveness of gestures, empathizing uh, the role of non-proportional motion features they attempt to use computer vision technology to extract features, for example, body inclination angles, um, motion qualities, and so on. And further transform them into meta features for training recognition models. This facilitates uh, automatic prediction participants' engagement and explore difficult, uh, like difficult roles and of body posture and motion information in non-verbal communication. The, the relationship between emotional states and high-level descriptions of body movements or postures, um, and they need to refine emotional body expression into more uh, granular descriptions. So now we have a lot of new media such as AR, VR technologies, you know, normally we use PCs or Macs as the interface to uh, finish our work. But now we can clearly see the combination of VR with AI choreography will undoubtedly 
uh, be the best medium for future AI choreography. When dealing with complex temporal files, choreographers can more conveniently display their ideas through wearable devices such as VR glasses, VR technology, compelling them into complete choreographic works. And additionally, VR can also serve as a very good teaching medium, utilizing motion sensing capabilities of devices, enabling uh, learners to master complex um, dense content in a more clear condition. And we already have some very famous um, dance tools, like dance applications. The DIST, Dancing in the Streets, is believed to be one of the earliest wearable VR products specifically designed for dance exercises. And now we have a very popular one. They're called Dance, Just Dance, and also Beat Saber. They use uh, handheld controllers to capture users' movements while playing. These tools, they provide users with intense interactivity and engagement through powerful interface and it has a very strong guidance, the controller feedback, and currently this software rely on direct capturing the movements of, a, for example, a professional dancers. So it leads to high cost and complex process. And also these resources need to manual um, supplementation and maintenance. So, in the future, the future ideal virtual reality platform, um, it will become more widespread, and the VR community becomes more refined, and the way people may someday create dance, and. This, this will not only change the personal dancing experience, but could also impact all aspects of dance education and professional dancing. And moreover, the increasing popularity of AI choreography will undoubtedly lead to its remarkable performance in the VR ecosystem. This not only uh, stimulates and improves the current lack of VR application libraries, um, but also prompts uh, manufacturers to improve VR hardware. For example, the, uh, the inclusion of choreography software could prompt more uh, manufacturers to develop VR applications thereby. Advancing VR hardware development and further you know, driving breakthrough in the performance bottleneck of VR choreography software. So with the emergence tools like AI Choreographer or uh, GrooveNet or AIST++ dataset, there is a growing market interest in AI choreography tools. The development of these tools signifies the long-term evolution from um, a visual perspective of biological motion, motion capture, to understanding even more um, complex information from human behaviors, like dancing, like uh, emotion expressions. And AI choreography is now nearing the point of having its own workstations, hopefully, you know, similar to for the um, music producers, for the digital audio workstations though. Hopefully one day dancers also have their own workstations. And we should definitely focus on developing more efficient and feature rich artificial intelligence system that can um, integrate multimodal data to uh, handle more multimodal information aiming to enhance the quality of dance choreography and uh, innovationness of output content. The application should be friendly, uh, user friendly. The interface should be user friendly and should be a AI assisted choreography software. And with the combination of virtual reality platforms and 
offering new tools to dance artists, it can offer new tools. It can give artists more uh, space to uh, have their creation on new highlights. And of course, expanding the possibilities for dance education and also entertainment. And that's all. Thank you for your attention.